That's Tarot by the Bay. I'm David. And I'm Gary. And we're here to do a twin tarot reading for you. <laughs> Twice as much fun for the same price. Exactly. Right? <laughs> for the same free price. Yes. <laughs> You're, you get it in stereo. Oh. Yes, indeed. Sorry. I'll, I'll do better next time. That's okay. It it's, we'll, we'll, we'll hit our stride at some point here. <laughs> so the question I wanted to ask my brother was, Will Marjorie Taylor Greene be successful in ousting Mike Johnson as Speaker of the House? Speaker of the House. MAGA Mike, who is now, according to the uh, the MAGA extremists, is now part of the Uniparty. <laughs> is that like the Unibrow? Yes, it's like the Unibrow. <laughs> if only you just shaved the Unibrow in the middle. It'd be in fact, eyebrows. Think, I think for the thumbnail, if we could find a picture of Bert. Bert, yes. yes. <laughs> Bert and Bert. So Bert with his Unibrow. Yeah, so for Ernie. those of you who aren't uh, as up to speed on the Republican uh, uh, conspiracy theory, um, any politician that... I don't know, compromises or, you know, does anything that's not MAGA related is now part of the Uniparty, which is basically the Democrats and the Republicans colluding together. So if, if you're not MAGA or further to the right, you're now part of the Uniparty. So basically what you're saying is you've got the Freedom Caucus, MAGA Party, and everybody else. People that like democracy. Yes, yes. And are willing to work together to maintain their you democracy. Because why would you want that in a democracy? Why would you want She's a everybody of... getting something that they want as opposed to my way or the highway? Yeah, compromise. What a novel concept. Yeah, I know. It's, That's evil. It, well, it, it fits the narrative, right? Uh, Bo, the fifth column, often talks about this. The Republican Party doesn't want to govern. They want to rule. They want to rule. Yeah. And that's what Marjorie Taylor Greene is vocalizing is the attitude of a ruler. Rulers don't compromise. They rule. Yeah. I know it's better for you. That's right. Do what I tell you or yeah. else. So much for representative democracy. Yeah. We are moving towards a good authoritarian government. It works so well like places like Korea and China. And North China. Korea. <laughs> North <laughs> Korea, <laughs> yes. Yeah, and not South Korea. Russia, you know, America, you know, right now, given give the the way we're going, Marjorie Taylor Greene and company would have us become Russia. Yeah. You've got a ruling president who never leaves office, and then you got an oligarchy that has all the money, and then you got the poor slobs underneath it yeah. who get the crumbs. <sighs> all right, so let's take a look. Marjorie Taylor Greene's energy around Mike Johnson and her threats to remove him from office, and then we will. Find out if she will be successful in her efforts or if the Democrats will come riding in like the cavalry. Yes. All right. see. Entertainment purposes only. Because what do we know? We're just a couple of schmucks reading tarot cards. That's pretty much what it is. <laughs> okay. So the foundation of the reading is the Nine of Cups. This is hopes, wishes, dreams fulfilled on the positive energy. Mm -hmm. On the negative energy, it's kind of the smug merchant. Like... I, you know, I'm in control. I get to dictate what's going on. Now, does this represent Mike Johnson with, you know, Republicans and Democrats lined up behind him? Or is this Marjorie Taylor Greene with some Republicans lined up behind her as she's ready to burn down the country and remove the speaker? Underneath it, we'll get the cross in a second. Underneath it, we have the Ace of Cups. This is about passion, maybe even uncontrolled emotions. Mm -hmm. So for Marjorie Taylor Greene, uncontrolled emotions makes a lot of sense. She's just, in her quote on this, she's mentioned that, I don't care if the Democrats take over the House. I want people on record. And if it goes to the Democrats, so be it. She is a member of the burn it all down to the ground faction. Yeah. Well, there's, there's some discussion that she's just really acting as a proxy for Trump. Who's and acting as a proxy for Putin? Well, <laughs> yeah, well, well, that that's that's a leap. But, you know, I think Trump, I don't know if he's necessarily acts as a proxy for Putin. I think Trump is just all about Trump. Well, he is all about Trump, but Putin tells him what to do and how to do well, it. I think that's he, how he never criticizes Putin. I think he looks at Putin and he sees what he wants. Daddy. Putin's got what he wants, which is complete control, and uh, he admires that out of him. Mm. Yeah, he does tend to admire dictators, doesn't he? Yes, he does. All right. What's going to cross this? 
the disappointment. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think this is more Marjorie Taylor Greene here yeah. sitting there. It's like, I'm, I'm large, Marge, and in charge. <laughs> and you didn't do what I told you to do. Because we all know for the last several weeks, she was telling him what to do and how to do it. Yep. And he didn't do what she wanted. He brought that Ukraine funding that got passed by 75% of Congress. It's interesting that you had basically almost all the Democrats vote for it. And you had roughly half the Republicans vote for it. So it's about 70, 75% of Congress voted for this. And about half of the Republicans that are in the Putin faction of the Republican Party voted against it. Mm -hmm. And Putin apparently is pissed that this funding got through because this screws him big time in his campaign. Because they've restricted funding to Ukraine for the last six months, Ukraine has not had artillery shells, for instance, for ammunition or anti-tank weapons. So they've been slowly ceding ground to the Russians as the Russians just throw tens of thousands of bodies at them to um, start taking back st uh, strategic uh, land in, uh, in uh, Ukraine. It's mostly because the Ukrainians can't, you know, launch massive artillery strikes. When yeah, they, they, have, they have to be very conservative with their use of artillery. Yeah, they just so they have to conserve it. Now, when they start getting all this stuff again, they can start unleashing things on the Russians. And that Russian advances that they've been making recently, the slow and steady advances, those are going to get blunted. Mm -hmm. And either it's going to be a stalemate or the Ukrainians are going to start pushing them back again. Yeah. Okay. Um, so... Motions, maybe out of control emotions. You didn't do what I told you to. You're a major disappointment. You were supposed to do so much more for us. In the past, you got the Two of Pentacles. Um, it's about changing values. It's about trying to keep all the ball. Mike Johnson's been trying to do what he can. He can't do what he wants to do because they have a one vote majority yep. in Congress. So he's had to compromise as. In his position, if he wants to get anything done, he has to compromise. And Marjorie Taylor Greene threatened him, if you pass this budget, I'm going to oust you. If you pass this funding, or if you bring this funding to the floor, I'm going to oust you. Well, he had to do both. Yeah. And he didn't even get the reduction of the funding. He didn't get the reduction in the budget. And what's worse is the Republicans were demanding, a uh, as part of Ukraine funding, that the border security be addressed. And there was a bipartisan <laughs> bill that got passed in the Senate that was going to give conservatives everything they wanted on border security for like the last 40 freaking years. It was like it was literally the ideal plan for the Republicans and the House Republicans said no. Yep. Because uh, there's there's a speculation that the reason why the House Republicans shut it down was simply because it's a talking point for Trump yep. and his political campaign. And he wants to run on the border. Yet when they had the opportunity to address to the border, fix the problem, they chose not to. Exactly. Right, so. and, oh, by the way, in case uh, for those new to the uh, channel that haven't seen the, I do have a twin tarot talk playlist where Gary and I have done readings before. Gary's a Republican. Yes, we, yes. But we both started off life as Registered Republicans. Registered Republican, grew up in a Republican household in a pretty Republican state back in the back 60s in, and 70s. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, you know, we both voted for Reagan. We both yeah. voted for HW. Yeah. Um, I started falling out of the Republican Party about the mid-90s or so when they started the platform of family values. I just remember thinking, the heck are you guys doing? I'm not... The worst fiscal conservativeness. Worst, you know, keeping a strong military. Why do I need you idiots to tell me, you know, about who to have sex with and when? How many kids to have or not have? You know, go away. I don't need you for that. Um, and, you know, I held my nose and voted for Bob Dole. And then after that, it's just like, it was downhill. By the time uh, uh, we had invaded Iraq and it was really clear that we invaded a rocket and it was a political mistake, I voted for John Kerry. Hell, I would have been okay with, with Gore being president because although he might have been one of those evil Democrats that eats babies and stuff yes, like that, they, they at least he was them. worried about climate change and the scientist in me yeah. was concerned about climate change. And so I'm okay with that. Obama, right person at the right time. Love John McCain. Thought he could have been great. Uh, he should have been there like 12 years previous. 
Yeah, I think and there's Sarah Palin. Yeah, for me, I think <laughs> Tea Party was kind of the the bridge too far for mm. me. Just you know, nobody likes taxes, but you know what? There is a benefit to this. You know, it's, it's not all about you and your paycheck. You know, there are things that we need to come together as a society and. The Tea Party was a bridge too far. Sarah Palin as vice president was just like, mm, that's a big no for yeah. me. Did you vote for Obama? I did, actually. Okay. Both, both times. Uh, the second time I voted for him because... You know, Romney? Was, <laughs> well, no, it wasn't Romney. I was okay with Romney, but it was just... Ew. You know, he... Um, his first four years were dealing with... The, <laughs> Everything. Yeah, <laughs> kind of the Great Recession and all the aftermath. And that's just like... I'd like to give this poor guy a couple of years to prove what he can do to push the ball down the field. The problem is the Democrats lost Congress. And then, well, you know, here comes Trumpy. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I wasn't necessarily thrilled with either candidate, but I I figured at least Hillary knew how to run a government. Yeah. Um, and, you know, when Trump got elected, it's like, well, you know, business will probably benefit from it. And... We'll just see how he yeah, does. Yeah, give him a chance. Maybe all the his campaigning was just pure rhetoric well, to get in there. Yeah, and then yeah. once he's in there, he doesn't have to follow through on that rhetoric. But that took about two weeks, right? Yeah, it's just, you know, the expectations were so low for him that he should have been able to meet him pretty easily. And he, he f- met and failed on all just about everything, you know. It's just, it's disappointing. He could have been the person that could have united everything together. True. And he just wasn't. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Pontification over. Okay, yes. Okay, so we've been balancing. <laughs> yes. Which is, yeah, you got a one vote majority, you have to compromise. Funny thing about that. Current situation of the Four Swords, she's been lying in wait and she's waiting for the perfect moment to strike. Yeah. Now, that sounds funny with Marjorie Taylor Greene because strategy and being strategic is not like adjectives I would normally use to describe her. She, she's been, but I think it's kind of like she makes the threats and then she waits to see what's going to happen with those threats and he keeps ignoring them mm-hmm. <laughs> for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> Overarching energy is the Knight of Cups. Um, it's Knight of Cups in this case, you know, it's, it's about friendship. It's about reaching out, but it can also be false friends, mm-hmm. uh, fake friends on this one. Uh, I don't know if Mike Johnson's reaching out to her or she's reaching out to Mike Johnson, but it's insincere offers. And maybe she feels like he's offered her things that haven't aligned with what she wanted. And now he's trying to appease her. And I, Marjorie Taylor Greene's not the type of person that I see that's easily appeased. Yeah, it's also, you know, remember, he's MAGA Mike Johnson. He's right. supposed to be ultra-right wing and you know, doing everything that Trump wants, you know, and the MAGA crowd wants. And, you know, he's he's had to be a little less MAGA if he wants to get anything pushed forward. He, he's had to act like a Republican House Speaker with a one-vote majority that needs to get basic work yeah, done. Yeah, so, yeah, so the promise of MAGA Mike Johnson might not have come to fruition just simply because he, he surveys the political climate and realizes, I can't push this legislation forward uh, because it just won't go anywhere. It's just going to die. And this could also be the Democrats reaching out or him reaching out to the Democrats. Yes. Yes. I know. Hey, you know, you want this. I want this fund. At some point he realized that Ukraine funding needed to go through. Well, you know, and, my, and, and the Israeli funding that was attached with it. He's, he's a, he's a politician, you know, and he's, He's not just doing it for social media likes. He's yeah. he wants to govern, and a lot of unfortunately, a lot of the MAGA faction don't want to govern. They just want to make headlines. Yeah, they obstruct. The, a lot of the Republicans and they were put in there in there to obstruct. That's all they know how to do. They don't know how to build anything. They know how to obstruct things, and that's really is the MAGA faction. They're obstructionists. Um, I think Johnson knew that he needed to, once he understood what was going on, he needed to get this through. Certainly the Democrats gave him the opportunity by putting some distance between themselves and Israel, allowing the Republicans to step into that void and say, we're the party supporting Israel. You know, it gives them a talking point for the upcoming elections so the Democrats could help get that funding bill passed. Um, and 
in the process of doing that, Johnson realizes his seat's at risk. So he might have reached out to the Democrats for a little bit of assistance here. <sighs> the lesson to be learned is the moon card. It's the mystery, you know, howling at the moon, the craziness, um, confusion. Um, she's not. Uh, well, she's 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 barking mad. <laughs> she is. Um, he doesn't know when it's coming. She keeps threatening. She hasn't struck yet. But you know it's coming. It's just yeah. a matter of what it's. I think she understands that it's the tension of no. They're hearing the music build up like in a thriller movie. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> it's and waiting for that music to stop because that's when the guy jumps out of the closet. Yes. Outcome is the two of swords. She hasn't decided yet. She's waiting on something. Maybe waiting on orders from Putin. Who knows? But she's waiting on something uh, to make her decision. I think yesterday when we read it, it looked like she was imminent to do it. Right now, it's looking like there's uh, a decision that needs to be made. Um, I don't know what that is, though. No. Let's Look, find out. I wonder if that... What, what, is, what is she waiting on? Uh, government. That, that was one of the things. It's like, people might be talking to her saying, hey, do you really want to hand the house over to Hakeem Jeffries? Yeah. Ooh. And I want to throw on that, too. Because yeah. there are Republicans... It's rumored that if... They vote out Mike Johnson. The, some of those Republicans that uh, are friends with McCarthy, that have you know uh, Ken Buck, and I believe Gallagher was the other one that just resigned their seats. Um, they may decide that you know I'm going to resign my seat and not let the Republicans replace yeah. this seat, and then the majority gets handed over to the Democrats. Mm -hmm. And I think people are trying to talk to Marjorie Taylor Greene saying, do you really want to do that? Is that what you really want? Not that she cares, but is that what you want to be known for? Because if you do that, we're going to resign, and then the Republicans are going to lose the House to the Democrats. One vote. One, and it would be tied right now for, for the fact that a, I think it was a New Jersey rep died. He recently. died, yeah, he died. Great so moments and bad timing. Right? Yeah, telling you. Spirit really wants... <laughs> Spirit's not will, willing to let us quite quite flip the government yet here. Yeah. Okay, so um, that's the energy around it. Uh, let's say this week, or in the next two weeks, is Marjorie Taylor Greene going to launch the missile? It's, uh, let's say next week. Next week. Because if it doesn't happen, or this coming week here, right? Because if it doesn't come this week, then we have time to do another. <laughs> A Mother's Day tarot. Exactly. Day. Mother's Day is coming up. Yes. Happy Mother's Day to all of you mothers. We should... We should. All, yeah. all the people that have been called mothers. Next Saturday. Yeah. We should probably go to mom's house. We Drag her in here. <laughs> <laughs> you can see what we did. To put her oh, just put her right oh, here. Goodness. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be on camera. Yeah, my hair's messy. She, she's, a, she's a great lady. She's full of piss and vinegar. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I hope I've got half the energy. Salty and peppery. <laughs> she's none of those things. I have half the energy that woman has when I'm her age. Oh, then you'll have half as much energy she yeah, has. Exactly. Oh, it's probably math. already there. Math. Here we go. There Speaking you. of math, Marjorie Taylor Greene next week. Is she going to launch the, the uh, remove the speaker missile? Page of Swords. Um, Page of Swords is a young person, like a woman, with a sword that... She, basically, here's a person who really doesn't know what they're doing. Mm. It's an apprentice... Who's got this sword waving it around wildly threat in a threatening manner? Yeah. So not necessarily going to launch it, but it, she could be just dumb enough to do it. Mm. Cross with the seven of swords. Um, swords are kind of an action card. Uh, swords are intellect. Wands are action. Oh, okay. So um, oh. she. I think what's happening here is underneath it, she is looking at. Uh, the mayhem that she's going to cause, and will she have enough votes? Believe it or not, she's going to do the math here. Does she have enough votes? Is this the right time to do it? Can she pull this off? Because it would be really, it would be embarrassing as all get out to vote to remove him and then have most of the Republicans and Democrats say, no, we want to keep him in here. Mm -hmm. you, know, you look foolish doing that. Mm -hmm. Um and the other thing is, like, if you do that, are some people going to leave? Are, like, five, like another five Republicans going to leave yeah. and hand the uh, seat over to 
yeah. Hakeem Jeffries. Yeah, there was that threat. Uh, <coughs> was it Buck that said that? Who was it? Who, yeah, it was Buck. Yeah, said that there's... Don't worry about me. Worry about it's the... the next three that you have to yeah. worry about. And the implication could be, is it just there, there could be three more or there are at least three more. Yeah. You're sure you want to do this mm -hmm. type thing. She's not... No, she wants to fight. She is all about the fight. Um, but she might be giving up things. I'm not convinced that she's going to do it next week. I'm not, I'm not seeing it yet. Uh, in the past is the high priestess. This, I think people are trying to talk to her and reason with her. And, you know, the seasoned politicians are trying to talk and reason with her and say, D you don't want to do this. Um, current situation, that card uh, showed up the last time too, didn't it? Uh, yeah. The Hierophant is, this is the government, this is the house. You could be handing the house over to um, Hakeem Jeffries if you do this. If you do this, you know, again, here's that five card. Like the five swords out of the seven of swords here, there could be a couple. A couple more people could leave, and if two people leave, that's it. Yeah. The Democrats have the thing, and it could be up to five people leaving, which would be total, right? Yeah. Because we've had McCarthy, Buck, and Gallagher, and then if two more leave, that's five people that have left. Yep. If she does that, there are probably two uh, House members who said they will resign if she does this. And there's the charity card here. Mm -hmm. the, um, the six of coins is about, uh, so we got five of coins. This is the transition being left out, kicked out. Um, the six of coins is, is the charity card. You know, we have a lot of, this guy has a lot of wealth and he's sharing the wealth with, um, with these two people here. And uh, the other thing is interesting is that one of the things that really bothered her was the budget being passed and and international funding specifically for what two colors are these? Yes, Ukraine. Yep, blue and gold, like the Ukrainian flag. They got the money over there. I think she is pissed that that got through. And th this is what this is what's driving her absolutely batty. Well, I wonder if this card could also be, um, you know, he's throwing a little love towards the Democrats to get, you know, compromise to get stuff passed, and the yeah. MAGA faction is being... Yeah, they got nothing. Yeah. <laughs> They're getting held to the justice uh, standards here. That's uh, entirely possible. She's she's not happy, though. She is not happy no. at all with this. No, MAGA would not be happy with that. Outcome is the oh, Two of Cups. This is not a card I've seen before. Okay, so Two of Cups is about agreements. Um, you could... One interpretation, you know, Johnson met with... Uh, Jeffries. With Jeffries, and he got Trump over here. But I think... Yeah, I, to me, this is like the blue and the red. The Democrats, the Democrats and the Republicans banding together, pretty much being an anti-Trump yeah. faction mm -hmm. or an anti-Putin faction, as the case may be. Um, the messaging might be that if she does this, that um, there's going to be consequences to her, and the Democrats have already signaled that they would support. Mike Johnson. They they've done that. They did that like last Monday. Then on Tuesday, Hakeem Jeffries was being a little coy with how much they'd support him. But the Democrats signaled that they will support Johnson. Which for Marjorie Taylor Greene with the Seven of Wands is you're not fighting from a position of advantage. You're fighting from a position of weakness. It's an uphill battle. Do you really want to do this? So um, she, I, I'm waffling on this. I'm not going to give you an answer. She wants to. Because she's an idiot. <laughs> I don't know any other way to well, put it's, it. You know, it's, it's appeasing her base. That's, a, that's what her base would want. They want. They like fighters because yeah. Trump is a fighter. And it doesn't matter if you're fighting a good battle or a poor battle. You're fighting, right? Fighting right. for the sake of fighting. They it just they don't. There's no. The Republican Party, or I should say, the MAGA faction of the Republican Party, doesn't play the tape all the way through. They like to be told what what they need to think and then they just echo, they parrot it yeah. and that's why trump constantly repeats things over and over again because as he gets out the the accordion the accordion <laughs> of hypnotic falsehoods he keeps he keeps playing the same song you know he got caught the snake with the with the twirly eyes and just hypnotize them. He just, Trump has been excellent. If you look back all the way to 2015 or so, he just repeats the same thing over and over again until it becomes truth, until he's manifested his truth. And she's using the same tactic. Yep. 
for Carter. Will she? Okay, so we're, we're getting more of the story. Uh, let's see if we can get an actual definitive answer yeah, here. And well, we may yeah. and we may not. Sometimes spirits like, uh -huh. I've, I've learned to, instead of trying to force an answer, I'm just going to roll with it and say, I don't know. <laughs> but I will ask one more time. Will she try and oust him this upcoming week? This week. Come on, four cards. There's that fighting from, it's, she's not fighting, uh, fighting from advantage, fighting disadvantage. She's at a disadvantage here. Uh, Six of Swords is the going away card. Um, going from troubled waters to calmer shores. Um, it's also leaving. So that could be a yes. She wants him to leave. King of Cups. Um, this is usually represented by Biden. It's a, a mature male. Uh, or a mature, a mature person it doesn't have to be male, but a mature person here. She's not mature. She's she's emotionally very immature uh, person here, and being left out in the cold. Ooh, that's not good. Ten of Swords. Wow. Um, if I were looking at this right now, Ten of Swords underneath there. That's the 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 death by you know a thousand blows mm -hmm. type of thing. This is bringing things to an end. So to me, this would indicate, yes, she wants to end it. She, she's, she's all about the fight. She wants to end it. Um, and it, to her, it does, it's funny. It doesn't matter if she wins or loses. Mm -hmm. She just wants him gone. Mm -hmm. And the King of Cups could just be the agreement between Jeffries and Johnson that they're not going to allow this. Mm -hmm. They're going to vote on this and... Uh, there's going to be bipartisan support, and it's going to calm things down. And now Marjorie Taylor Greene is kind of on the outside looking in. And it could also be that these two people... Are Trump and Green? No, no, no. The two uh, congressmen. Oh, it could be. It could be the two Republican congressmen saying, okay, fine, we're done. Yeah. Or it could also be Trump and Taylor, uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene, because, uh, as I mentioned, there is some speculation that she's just being his mouthpiece. That he's the one that's behind the push to kick Mike Johnson out. And if Johnson retains his power, that's Trump has lost yet again. And his influence and sway over the Republican Party will be diminished. Yeah. Interesting. It's I'm right now I'm leaning to yes. I, it, it's gonna be a 64. It would I would not be surprised if it doesn't happen, but that last spread where it's it's kind of the uh, page of swords like I'm gonna do it anyways because I've got a sword and what good's having a sword if you don't use it mm -hmm. and she's just I hate using the word dumb because it's it's kind of a rude thing but she is j just unsophisticated enough in her critical thinking skills how's that for a, a bunch of fancy college words here to not understand the co or care about the consequences of her yeah, I think she understands. I think she just doesn't care. She doesn't care. Yeah. So I'm going to go on and say, yeah, it's likely. It's more likely than not she's going to try and oust him next week. Okay. Well, I would not be surprised if it doesn't happen. And it, again, things that can that moon card that we had in the um, the overarching uh, or the lesson to be learned. It could be that. It really depends on if those two Republicans in the House decide, hey, if you do this, we're gone. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to the new Speaker, Hakeem Jeffries. Mm -hmm. <coughs> um, I'm going to leave it here at this one. Well, it just, it's already been a half an hour here. You wasted a half an hour. <laughs> a, a, a perfectly good half an hour of your time. You're with, never going to get it back, are you? Listening now? to frickin' frack oh, from God. Tarot Talk. We apologize for... <laughs> Which stealing you just had to endure <laughs> and stealing from uh, uh, car talk. Yes, <laughs> Tom and Ray, those guys are amazing. Yeah, that was a Saturday staple. Mm. <laughs> okay, so thank you very much for watching this video and supporting my channel. I appreciate it. Yes, thank you very much for your kind words, your comments, your thumbs up. Uh, everything you do to feed the YouTube algorithm so this video makes it out to a wider audience. To that wider, unsuspecting audience. <laughs> yes, yes. No reason why they shouldn't be subjected to this <laughs> exactly. waste of time just my, like you saw. Our mother had to endure this for 50-something oh years. God, we we're going to spread the love. <laughs> so please, like, subscribe, comment below. <laughs> Thank you for uh, for following us. Uh, thank you for watching this video all the way through. And have a great weekend. And we'll catch you on the have next Have a great time. day. Bye.